Hello and welcome back to my channel. In today's episode, we are going to make an unboxing GUI where you can unbox different things. Let's get started. The first step is to go to the description of the video and find the link. And uh, once you have it, you can go to your toolbox and click this button, so my models, and you can find the unboxing interface. And uh, once you import it to your game, you can find this ungroup me model. So you can right click, ungroup, and drag the different things to the right correct position. So ungroup this, service script service, and ungroup, replicated storage, and also ungroup. Let's uh, go inside the spin GUI and into the by frame and into the container. And we can see these buttons with very weird names, as you can see. That's because these are dev products. So people can buy more spins for Robux. So if you guys make some dev products, you can change these names to the ID of your dev products. Okay, let's go into the spin handler and into the spins module. And as you can see, we have these different spins. So 5 cash, 10 cash, 25 cash, 100 cash. Yeah. So we have some different leader stats. And with, as you can see in the leader stats module, we have cash spins and max spins. Okay. And uh, this, these up here are the titles of the different spins. And we, the reward is the type we have. The amount is the, well, amount, and the rarity is the rarity. And down here in the module.rarities, you can find different rarities. And you can also make your own ones. But it's very important that these equal to 100 exactly. They don't right here. That's because I did something wrong. So sorry about that. But anyway, it, it will still work. So. We also have some options, render amount and reward delay. So that's basically everything we have to do. Just one more thing, go to file, publish to Roblox as, create new game and just create your game. Let's call it spin GUI testing. That works for me. Let's click create. Let's wait a few seconds for it to load. And once we return to the game, you have to go to game settings, security, and enable studio access to API services. Okay, and now we can click play. Okay, so I click this I click this button, spin, and click spin one more time, and now it's spinning. All these different spins I made in the module, and I got five cash. There we go, hundred and five cash. And uh, once I reach zero spins let me show you guys zero spins click let's click oh would you like to buy more yes i would now the shop is showing i made it a bit messed up here but just change the z index and it will, this will be fixed so sorry about this but yes so we can also close it and we can yeah once you buy more you can spin again and uh, as previously mentioned, you can make your own values up here. You can make rarities, you can make new spans and everything like that. So you basically have a full functioning system right here. So please subscribe and leave a like and also turn on the bell so you can be notified when I make new content. So thank you guys for watching my video and have a nice summer break.